Hello, welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. I'm actually very excited about today's show. Uh, a little bit later in the program, we are going to revisit with a woman who has taken an idea, made it her own, and now she's got products in Target, and she's local. We're going to talk to her in just a minute, but we're celebrating health and wellness today with State Representative Jake Wheatley. Welcome back. Thank you for having me, Lynn. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm great as well. I'm great as well. There you go. So, I mean, health and wellness, this is not a new concept. You've done this for how many years now? This is our eighth year wow. of going okay. health and wellness weekend. Mm -hmm. um, we started actually uh, 19 years ago with our Community Appreciation Day. But um, soon after we started that, we realized that all of the um, health statistics um, kind of spoke to the African-American community really needing to reevaluate its wellness. And so we really wanted to develop a concept that exposed our community and, and all the folk, but really the African-American community in this city to um, techniques around becoming more financially well, more physically have, well, more spiritually, environmentally, and emotionally well. Oh, okay. So when you say health and wellness now, you're talking about everything, not just yeah. walking and riding. You're talking about the whole thing. We want to do a holistic approach. We, we took an analysis of what really um, makes a community um, healthy, mm -hmm. uh, what makes an uh, a individual healthy. Okay. It, it's more than just the physical. It's the mental. It's the environment that they find themselves in. Mm -hmm. It's their spiritual or their uh, belief in self or something. Uh, and it's also their mental. So we wanted to give them um, exposure to different tools, different um, vendors, different opportunities to really get into whatever they feel they need more of to become more healthy. All right, so this is a whole weekend of events and I wanna get into some of the specifics in just a second. But when you talk about the mental, to me that leaps out like this year, more than maybe any other year coming kind of through this pandemic, we all have a lot of emotional and mental baggage that we got to work through. Yeah, so, you know, this year's thing, uh, every year we have a different thing, but this year's thing uh, is different now. Really tries to focus in on, we're in this space, like you said, coming out of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. uh, but what this pandemic kind of showed us, especially from an African-American perspective, it's all of the realities that we already knew were there, but the, now the world sees it, that we were um, economically, um, socially, uh, financially, we were already being left behind. Mm -hmm. And so that space, when you talk about the mental space, many of us have, because of all of these traumas of being subject to poverty, su subject to systemic racism, subject to you know the, the violence of our neighborhoods and the violence from those who were supposed to be protecting and serving us, Mm -hmm. Our mental space wasn't in a good place anyway. And so now we are, we really need to kind of refocus, reset ourselves and, and really take charge of our own health and wellness. And so we really want this, 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 this day. Now, normally it would be a whole weekend, but because of the COVID, you know, we, we condensed it down to a Saturday, but we kept okay. the, the health and wellness weekend. But we really want to really concentrate on giving people tools to kind of assess their mental wellness. So we're working with some therapists um, and we, I want to thank Gateway Health and some of this um, 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 uh, partners because we're going to be uh, giving them a little quick introduction to how they can assess their well-being from a mental aspect, uh, and, and 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 they'll be able to take that hopefully and move forward. That's some heavy lifting. Okay, let's talk about the date. Yeah, August twenty-first. Okay, we begin the so day. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we begin the day with our uh, historic. Hill uh, 5K. You can bike it, run it, walk it. Uh, we're inviting everyone out. Uh, it, the, the proceeds for that day goes to support our August Wilson Park um, that we have in partnership with the uh, uh, Parks Conservancy. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a course up Center Avenue. Uh, we, we would invite everyone to come out and enjoy it. That's from about 8.30. I think the bike um, kicks off at about 8.30 uh, mm -hmm. a.m. Then the race itself, uh, uh, the walk and run part, uh, kind of starts at 9. 
So let me stop you for just a second. So where is the actual starting point? Freedom Corner. Okay. Freedom All right. Okay. We start at Freedom Corner. We go up Center Avenue to where you were turned for the VA, and you come back down to Freedom Corner. So that's uh, 3.2 miles so you can get your little walk in it also is very good not only from a physical perspective it gives you a chance to kind of look at center avenue and all of the things that are changing on center avenue uh but it also gives you a chance to kind of get back and connect with your your minerals as well and then once that is over we block off center avenue starting um from uh where the ymca is okay um and kind of goes down to where my office is on center avenue by mm -hmm. almost by um the new ganada by the theater we right off, we, we put up a, a a stage we'll have entertainment we'll have uh prizes giveaways yes now i'm gonna stop you right here only because we got to take a commercial break <laughs> we'll pick it up from there um but it's a it's pretty much all day it's all day Okay. We finish all right. up to six. All right. Well, we'll pick it up from there. We'll be back in just a minute when the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. You don't want to miss any of these details. We'll be right back.